Well, um, they reached a trade volume of $15 billion in 2017. That could mark essentially a breaking point of sorts because uh, soon after, in the middle of that year, the United Arab Emirates, alongside Saudi Arabia, Bahrain and Egypt, imposed a blockade on Qatar. And that was literally a, a line in the sand because Turkey sided with Qatar. The United Arab Emirates was on the other side and relations hit rock bottom. And soon after, revelations came about that, or the Turkish claims came about that the United Arab Emirates was involved in, uh, the, poo, uh, in the coup plot in Turkey in 2016, July 2016. But that is now a thing of the past. Six years later, five years later, we are seeing, we are witnessing Erdogan making his first trip to the United Arab Emirates, to the capital of this tiny uh, conglo conglomeration of sheikhdoms, so to speak. The United Arab Emirates is a small country, but it has an oversized role when it comes to geopolitics of the Middle East, of this region and beyond, even North Africa. Keep in mind that Turkey and the UAE were competing in Libya, where both were supporting opposing sides. Uh, the United Arab Emirates has historically supported Khalifa Haftar in Libya. Uh, Turkey at that time in 2019 was supporting um, uh, the GNU, the government of national unity, so to speak. But now, years later, because of the changing geopolitical situation, Adnan, you've got a um, new uh, administration in the United States. The Trump era is over. And it seems with it that divisiveness is over as well. And now both these countries are looking to the future.